Alrighty. Um, so yeah, where do we go now? Oh, oops, I had the door locked. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll just go to the arsenal. That's maintenance. We don't need to go down there yet. But arsenal. Not to start. Again, these panels that we don't really know what to do with yet. Oh god, oh god, what's happening? The game reloaded. Okay, cool. Wasn't really expecting a, a loading stutter like that, but we'll take it. Okay. Two tunnels. Probably don't. Whoa! Yeah, so I was right. We definitely want to use. Oh, that's a grenade. Okay. I wish we could pick up the grenades if we notice them. It is. It does make me frustrated that we can't. Burnt bodies. De high nothing. Ooh, we got a grenade. Hello, sir. Explosive storage. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. What is this? Oh, it's a stick for my inventory. Alright, I'm walking back. I'm leaving the area. It's loading gap. Yep. I think this will deload the monster behind us, too. Is good. Gotta drop off some stuff in our storage crate. Kettle says, I will sadly be the casualty of this stream. Good night, y'all. Good night, Kettle. Thanks for watching. All right. Uh, I don't want the grenade right now. Uh, we already, we have so much fuel. Let's actually fill the generator if we can. I'm not gonna turn it on, but I will fill it because why not, right? All right, each one of these tanks fills it two lines, I think, is what it was. One to two, yeah, I think it's two lines. So two more would fill it fully. But I'm not going to do that right now. Let's uh, go explore a little bit. I'm not really finding this that scary, which is actually nice. <laughs> like, I know I mentioned this is like kind of chill, but like, I like horror that is more intellectually stimulating than just outright like scary. Um, it just mostly because games don't really scare me in general. Like, it's just not something I find spooky. Um, outside of like just being, you know, like startled by whatever's happening. Um, Oh, I see. All right. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to grab this. And I'm going to toss it right here. And then we crouch. And the monster is going to come out and look for us. But he's not going to see us. Yep. And 
He's gonna get bored of looking for us. He's not gonna know where we are. Yep. Let's hold down. Move past me. Come on, buddy. Did he just break through that door? I think he did. Alright. We just... Hide. Okay. <laughs> okay, it did find me. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure what we will want to do to avoid it then. Maybe we can uh, pop the string and then run out to deload the area and then come back. That's my next that's my next attempt. <laughs> Raph says, not much scares me, actually, I tend to fear other people. In my opinion, uh, Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil Remake uh, are really chill games. I agree. I am not even remotely scared by Resident Evil Remake. <laughs> uh, I, that game is the quintessential uh, chill out, relaxing, I have power over everything video game. <laughs> I can't toggle sprint? That's annoying. Bye! <laughs> Get outsmarted. All right, um, hmm. I guess my question now becomes, what did we, what did we get out of that experience, huh? I like the save room music like a lot, <laughs> like way more, way more than I expected to. All right. Back to the arsenal. It's kind of funny, I just, I really wasn't thinking about playing this game next, and then all of a sudden we just kind of did. And I'm just really enjoying it. Real good time. Thank you, carry more items in our inventory. Oh, bolt cutters. That's what we need for this stuff. Got it. And then we can probably pick up the items. Explosive storage, supply closet. Submap has been added to the main map in the administration office. Okay. That's a huge, like, just an absolutely gigantic boon for us. That's great. Monster is here now, though. So, let's go save real quick. Mana says, I fear being chased, I guess. Chase sequences, even in non-horror games, make me feel so tense and frightened. Um, I get that, that's relatable. Um, I don't think that makes you like a scaredy cat or anything. Uh, chase sequences just inherently stress people out because 
especially uh, in modern games, you know, you're really worried, oh, am I missing something? Or, or like, what if, uh, you know, what I'm trying to do, uh, well, what if I go the wrong way and I, like, I lose progress or whatever? That's, that's definitely, like, a, a meaningful thing to be, um, to be concerned about, especially in, in modern games. But uh, the thing that I, that sort of dampens them for me is that I pretty much always know that if I am being chased, nothing important is missable. Because they really, designers generally don't want nowadays players to be uh, scared that they're missing something. And hiding something in a chase sequence, which definitely can happen, don't get me wrong, there are, there are games that hide very important like endings or secrets and stuff during chase sequences. But most games, and I would assume maybe even this game, wouldn't um, because they're so focused on giving you a very specific developed experience that they don't want to get in the way of you engaging by making you so genuinely nervous about where you're going and what you're doing. How do I get through here? Is he back here? Is that where he is? Yeah, I can't get in. I think he's back there. Yeah, he is. That's where he is. Is he gonna bust through this door? Come and get me, ugly. This just doesn't even have a door. How do we get back here? It knew right where I was. Oops. That's fine. All right, so at least we know we can grab the stick, right? So what do we use the stick for, though? I have to investigate that. So I guess the creature in this is a little bit like the alien, the xenomorph in Alien Isolation, in that it wanders around until it hears you and then it tethers to you. Um, or rather, it's tethered to be around you at some point. It will appear in your, your area, but you just have to maneuver around it while trying to find out where you're going. So that makes sense. What does this do? I just want to move somewhere, go somewhere where it can't get me real quick. Can it find me in here? I don't know if this is a findable area. Chains, okay. Stick, a piece of wood. Combine with X. 
Oh, I can make a torch. When other methods are unavailable, a simple torch can light the darkness and be swung to scare off small scavengers and predators. All right, interesting. Uh, nope, not what I want to do. Here we go. Oh, why did I just empty the bullets? I guess because I fired one? Do I have to manually empty bullets as well? So I'm not really sure where we gotta go. Yeah, I'm not really sure where we gotta go in order to actually get through to that area. Maintenance maybe? In order to get bolt cutters? That's my that's my current guess, is that maybe I have to head to maintenance. Because that also is opened up now. It says two tunnels, but we can't get there. Explosive storage, we can't get through. We need to go into storage area A, but we don't have the code for storage area A. So, maintenance it is. Unless, do I have a code for it? I do not. 0313, we already used it. Uh, hmm. Let's just check out maintenance, I guess. Worst case scenario, we get killed by the monster, which isn't actually that frightening. And we don't really lose anything, so. Oh, you know what? We can go to the soldiers' quarters if we want to. Where the heck is it? Where Where is the place I wanted to go? Down here. All right. I'll just head down. Ooh. Oh, this is just a place I've already been. Yay, we've already tried to go in there, we couldn't. And that guy was ripped apart. Real bummer for him. We're gonna get eviscerated down here. What is that? Oh, that's a fat rat. The big fat rat. We love that. Here, we'll take some fuel. Why not? That thing's nasty. Rats keep out. Oh boy. Nope. 
so I think we're gonna need to use a torch to get through there if at all okay we are wounded that sucks okay uh, put some more fuel down craft that together take the bandage oh god how do I check myself oh I'm not that bad I'm fine maybe I don't know I didn't really want to save there, but we'll take it. I am moving more slowly, I think. Let's bandage. Oh yeah, I'm I'm damaged, that's why. Okay, I'm alright. Those, those were some fat rats. That's all I'm saying. All right, so I got a little bit of blood on me. Requires a lighter to use. Okay, that's just a dick move game. Hmm. Wait, I'm leaving a blood trail? Oh, that is not good. Get away from me, creeps. Sub map has been added. That's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Um, uh, do I want to use this yet? Yes, I do. Because I don't want to leave a blood trail. There we go. We're all good. Nice work. Okay, let's read that note we got. The rats. Stafford, have you noticed how the rats have changed down here lately? Ever since they opened up those tunnels, I swear the rats have gotten uglier. Like they're disfigured or something, and they're definitely more aggressive. Tell me I'm not going crazy. Yeah, burning bodies. That's fine, we figured. Oh, mother... He's far away from us. Oh, we were already in here, right? Yeah. is over here. It's just a hiding place or is there going to be there's stuff perfect. We 
It'd be great to have lights on down here. Um, P. Corsi, nothing. Oh, it's a veritable treasure trove of things. Ejiro, 4917. Oh, yeah, that's when we can. <gasps> Molotov cocktail. Bandage out of that. Gotta be real careful here. Gotta be real quiet, real careful. Hope the monster goes away. Yeah, it can't smell us because we have, we've got bandages. Empty bottle with cloth. A bottle with a strip of cloth can be thrown. And I can fill it with fuel to make a Molotov. Petrol bomb. Improvised incendiary device shatters and burns on impact. Uh, yeah. We definitely want to make one of those. We'll grab that while we're here. And then, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is he in here? No, he's not. He left. Okay. We're quiet. He hasn't noticed us. Can't open that, that's for sure. What are what are down here? What's down here? Oop, that's not really connected to the wall. That's just floating. Okay, we gotta move. Slow and steady wins the race. Just keep moving. Just keep going forward. We'll be out of here in no time. Okay. Look at that. Woo! We, uh, we made it back here. I'm damaged again, though. I really don't want to keep going through all of my resources like this. But... Uh, we can't really use that yet because we don't have a lighter. We can't use that yet because we don't have a lighter. I'm really puzzled now about, like, where we have to go. We do need to burn some bodies, but again, no lighter. Let's go ahead and fill the generator one more time. Mm, that'll just fill it to full. Right? No, it will not. Okay. That's fine. Happy with where we are. So I was only a little bit damaged by the, uh, the rats this time. So let's just go to 
mission uh, storage and open up that locker that we can open up now. Because we have Giro's code. Oh, did that fuel just respawn there? Or was that been there the whole time? Where is it? Giro, where are you? Giro, okay. 4917. 4917, let's go. Acquired the lighter, got some bandages. Very nice. Monsters here, I can hear him. Smack that. All right. We definitely want the lighter. Make bandages out of that. And I guess I'll put the fuel that's in my inventory. Oh my god, wait, I'm still bleeding. So will I bleed out then if I don't bandage myself? Huh. Okay. Intriguing. Let's go ahead and use the uh, fuel in my inventory. Or do I want to use the fuel in my inventory for this? No, I do not. I want to go down to the maintenance area and I want to burn that body with the rats on it. That's what I should have did, or I guess I couldn't have done this earlier because the uh, rats, I could only get the lighter after going down. That tunnel, I gotta hide <laughs> the monsters right outside. <sighs> so we gotta go back to maintenance. Let's look at maintenance on the map because I didn't actually get a chance to really look at it. Workshop, clerk's office, supply storage. All right, so we've already been to both of those places. Foreman's quarters we went to. Break room we didn't go to. Pantry, changing room, fuel storage. Chapel, munition storage, pillbox. Interesting. My guess is the workshop is where we're gonna wanna go. Let's move forward. <laughs> That's funny. Old Drago Miss says, why are they so mean? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what has them all, all yoked up. Our enemy is somewhere around here. Do I want to do this? Okay, now that is handled. How do I... Lighter. But I, I tossed it on the thingy. There we go. Is it not... Did it not burn the body? It did not. It didn't reach the body. didn't burn the body. God damn it. There we go. 
Okay, so I didn't need to waste that fuel, is basically what I just learned. I wonder who is gonna turn out to have become the monster. That's my question. It's definitely someone from the notes. I bet it is someone. I bet it's, I bet it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe the sergeant? I don't know. There we go. Let's try this again, shall we? Here's what we do. Oh, okay. That was the puddle that I caused. We'll let them eat me to death. Okay, very good. Okay, so they, they do, they take quite a bit of damage though before we can, before we'll do that. Okay. Good to know. I know I can scare them away with the torch, but that seems like wasting multiple resources for something that I only need to waste one resource for. Because I can just light this on fire first. Eat flame. And that's not gonna scare him off? Are you kidding me? All right, it seems like that is burning the body. Let's leave. And I just want to hang out in the quiet area over here so that if the monster does come to investigate, it can't get me and it doesn't know where I am. There we go. Let's hold out in here for a little bit. How's everyone doing? How are things going? I wonder if hard mode just makes those not have anything in them. <laughs> should be good fire should stop burning by now and it should have burned that body if there are rats there still I'm gonna lose my mind look at that no rats look ma no rats we burn the body correctly let's go save This playthrough is gonna be something else. It's gonna be, it's gonna be just black as night on YouTube. Just a bunch of black pixels on the screen most of the time. Uh, progress saved, baby. Let's go. Okay. So. Now that we have the path to maintenance cleared, we can kind of go there freely. So I guess we can go explore there. I'm not really sure. There we go. I'm not really sure where it wants us to go, just because uh, we can't get to explosive storage yet. My, again, this is just my best guess, is that we have to go down to maintenance to get something to do bolt cutters so we can open more doors or something. I don't, I have no idea. Did, did I already try to go down to the wine cellar? I think I did.
Oh yeah, there's nothing down there. I just gotta keep moving. Can't. Is it? It's not an open or a pull. It's not a push or a pull door. It's just, I mean, it is, but it's locked is what I'm saying. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you, rats. Alright, that's telling me that they're interested in cheese. Rats enjoy a nice charcuterie. That's what it's saying. Oh boy, okay. Alphonse, nope. That's no one. Get out of here, you little scamp. Brilliant. That's not one of ours. That's a tripwire. Pillbox. Where's the pillbox key? If you require a pillbox access, see me or Father Dare. We're both in possession of a key. Foreman Stafford. Okay. Uh, shoot. We cannot go either way. Or we have to run. Oh no. I put the, I put the thing out when I sprinted. Oh, we're probably gonna die back here. May as well look for bodies, I guess. Or just things in general. Fuel storage is back there. Very nice to know. Can combine these to make a torch. Excellent. Another one. Got some mustard gas. My assumption is we can use that against the monster. Very intriguing. Oh shoot! I the mo my heart's beating, which means the monster's around. All right. Nice. Can I just make endless Molotovs here? That seems like it would be great. All right. And I want to keep Oh, shoot. Fuel bottle, fuel bottle, fuel bottle. Okay, so I have fuel bottles. That's fine. What is down here by the chapel? Uh, let's just use one of these. Or I guess I can run. Discovered, okay, I just got an achievement that said discovered the beast's nest in the chapel. That's not great. That's a real bad thing to discover. <laughs> I don't want to be here. It means the beast has been here. H. Boucher, 3752. Someone remember that for me. 3752. Oh boy, the monster is here. Oh boy, that's a priest. That's a dead priest. Augustine Lambert, 
Lambert's Every Journal. July 1916. Dusk. I sit now at the bedside of my dear friend Henri Clément. The doctor has left, but I remain. Wait. I feel I must record the extraordinary twists of fate and fortune that have led me to be here, breathing, alive, strong and well, while Henri lies unconscious, fighting for his life. It starts days ago, on a night patrol. I fell into some kind of pit. I was injured, unable to move, unable to escape. By all rights, it should have been my tomb. I cried for help, screamed myself hoarse. The effort left me parched, exhausted, and still alone. As the next night fell, as I cried what might have been my last cry for help, I could see the stars high, high above, beautiful and different. And then Clément's face appeared at the top of the pit. He lowered himself to me, found a trickle of spring water there, and let me drink from it. It was cool and crisp with a strange sweet taste never has water felt more nourishing than that administered by a dear friend's hand i was saved but of course that is not the last twist fate's blade would stab into my back 11th of july 1916 night later now i continue my tale as clement carried me across no man's land fate struck again a german outpost spotted us Gunfire, explosions, desperation. And as the air cleared, I pulled myself to my feet and saw that Henri was wounded, blood pouring from his head, his eyes glassy. He was fading. I do not know where I found the strength to carry him, but carry him I did, all the way back to our bunker. 12th July, 1916, morning. Woke this morning and realized that a toy I purchased for my son is gone. I promised him I'd bring him something home from the front, so I brought him a stuffed rabbit from a local shop. <laughs> a rabbit because he thinks he's so fast. It must have fallen from my pack when I fell into the crater. The thought of that stuffed rabbit lying in that crater, rain and weather matting its fur, unloved, forgotten, totally alone, lost forever. It fills me with profound hopelessness. 12th July, 1916. Afternoon. Spoke to the doctor. He told me Henri woke in the night and had no recollection of the events in the crater. Indeed, he seemed even confused as to where he was. Aside from this disturbing news, I'm feeling rather good. Stronger and stronger. As if the whole ordeal has filled both my body and soul with new purpose. Very interesting. So I think, well, one, first off, we had no idea Lambert was, <laughs> uh, was alive. And that just makes me think that Lambert is probably the monster. Gavin, I promised you a Christian burial, but you must understand the rats would not st stop coming. They swarmed your body, their teeth, their claws, they would not stop. What I did, I did what our ancestors did when faced with unclean things, burnt them, and I burnt what was left of you to stop them coming again. If you've made it to heaven, please forgive me. I remain down here in hell with that demon. It will come for me again soon. I know it. I'm going to do as you suggested before you died. Make for the pillbox. Please, if you're up there, watch over me. It's in here. We have to just... There it is. Okay. Just gotta wait it out. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get out of here, man, please. <laughs> well, there we go. That wasn't good. <laughs> Yikes. Well, he ended up finding me.
But now we can test something. Because there is something I want to test. And it's, can I use codes that I haven't found yet? Uh, in the actual, in the game proper. So, let us test that out, shall we? Ooh, that's the arsenal, not where we want to go. So, the code was for Boucher. And it was 3572, I think. Or 3752, one of those. One of those two. So let's check. Is there a Boucher around here? Lamont, Travers, Laval, Stafford, Lambert, Boucher. All right, let's do it. Three, five, seven, two. Nope. Three, seven, five, two. We can. Ha <laughs> ha. We got a bag upgrade. All right, so that was like worth the excursion at least. And we know there's another bag upgrade in maintenance. So we can go and check that place out, I guess. Try to get that back and, uh, yeah. Nice. That was some, that was an interesting little excursion. All right. Hmm. Well, we made it to the chapel, and that's where the beast's thing was. And that's where Lambert's diary was, so I think that's even more evidence to the fact that Lambert is probably the beast, which sucks. We went to fuel storage. Um, that was interesting. Pillbox, munition storage. Yeah, we'll want to go back there eventually, I think, but my, my assumption now is that maintenance is a pretty late game not late game but like an area we're supposed to go to later so I guess maybe we can go back and try to explore more of uh, explosive storage or the soldiers quarters maybe that's probably an interesting yeah that sounds like an idea soldiers quarters I'll have to check that out next